Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Supernatural Season 12, Episode number 19, The Future. This episode directed by Amanda Tapping. And here we have Sam and Dean trying to track down Kelly and to pretty much get rid of her baby. Because her child is the son of Satan. So they're trying to make sure, find a way to stop this child from being born or stop the child without killing the child because they don't want to kill a baby. Nobody wants to kill a baby. Even though it is the son of the devil, the child is still, right, for right now, is innocent. Has it really done anything wrong? And even when it was born, it's not, not going to really do anything wrong right then. But it doesn't mean the child can't, can't do anything wrong or influence people or do something supernaturally crazy because the child is going to be born with incredible power. I mean, it's going to, have, it's going to be the, the powers of an archangel combined with the soul and the of a human. This child can pretty much do anything. So... Everybody's freaking out. Then what does this happen? You got Castiel, on the, other, on the other hand, who went to heaven. And he pretty much made a deal with them because he's trying to get a win. Castiel has been lost, lost Kelly in the first place. He's, he's had been going, he, he lost a lot of confidence in himself. So he's feeling as though, I have to get a win. So he's going out there to pretty much take care of the baby. Because he, he, he doesn't want Sam and Dean to have to go through that. And they can't find a way. So he's going to be the one that says, hey. I mean, once that baby comes, I'm going to kill the baby, and then problem solved. But you also have Sam and Dean, who, who like I said, who, who found a way to take care of the baby without killing it. Now, is everybody on board with this idea? You would think so, but no, because Kelly has other plans, because she, she, she believes that her child is going to be good, that her child is going to do a lot of amazing and wonderful things that will help the world in a, in a positive way. And there are some signs that it maybe that could be true, but the like, but the, here's the thing: she she is carrying the ch the son of someone who is a known liar. He is the father of lies. That's what he's called. That's one of his many names. So maybe what your child is doing is lying to you too, just so he can survive and be, and be born. Maybe it's making you think that this composite is going to happen, but really it's not. Yeah, sucks, 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 sucks. So this episode is actually really, really good. And you know, even though this child is the son of the devil, I actually want the child to be born myself too. I, I, I really do. Because I, I want to see this what happens. What's going to happen when the son of the devil is born on earth? Is it going to be? Is it going to grow up like a regular child? Is it going to grow up really fast and become a man quickly? Or... I, I don't know. Is it going to come out with powers already? Is it going to control them? Or is this going to... Or, or it could be the opposite. It actually could be a good baby. Who knows? But I actually kind of want to see it. Let's just to see if this is what happened. And watching Sam and Dean and Cassie L, how they interact with one another is always interesting, always interesting to me. Because, see, Cassie L to them is like the brother they, they never had. I mean, they, they've been through a whole lot together. They've been on opposite sides a couple of times. They've been fighting. They fought alongside one another. Castillo have, went from being extremely powerful to not as powerful as he used to be. And, but he's still loyal to Sam and Dean. But other times, he could, he could go on his own. And then you have Sam and Dean. Sometimes they fight and bicker with, between one another. They, 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 pretty much, they pretty much are brothers. They pretty much are brothers. They do love each. They do what love one another, and they care for one another. But at the same time, they also fight against one another at the same time too. Because they, when they get an idea in their head, both of them are, are pretty quite. All of them are quite stubborn. Especially, especially um, Dean and Cassiel, because Cassiel wants to be wants to be on the side of right so bad, and he wants to have a win so bad because he feels as though he's letting them down. So. That's like his pride, it's called kind of like clouding his judgment in a way. And you have Dean who has this set goal of, of what's right and what's wrong in his head. And he, and he keeps pushing forward. And sometimes he can be a little rough about how he delivers what he believes. I mean, even though he may be right, but his delivery does maybe a little off. And you got Sam who's in the middle who's trying to be like the, the person who um, bring everybody together. Or the, the, like, hey, 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 how can we just get along, okay? How about we just be friends? <laughs> yeah, so you got that going on right in there too. But overall, like I said, it was a, a pretty much a pretty good episode. Um, just watching um, how Kelly acts towards her baby makes perfect sense. I mean, it's, my, it's her first child, even though she she knows deep down that her child is born from evil, she still loves it no matter what, no matter how crazy that is, how insane that she loved that baby. Oh my God, that's insane! That's insane. 
But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of the Supernatural. I mean, or do, what do you think is going to happen with this child? Is it going to come out pure evil and destroy the whole world? Or could it do a flip thing and become good and help out, help out all humanity? Who knows? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say, my dreams are in my life. I am. The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.